no matter where in the relationship, even if it's the beginning stage or, you know, it's further down the line, engagement, marriage, anything in between, it's really, the intention is so key. And if, if there is fear going into the next stage of the relationship or there's shame or guilt or anything that isn't, you know, love and encouragement and connection and peace and safety, you know, all these really what, a, from, from my feeling, what a relationship should be based on, you know, if you're going into these next stages in those low vibrational frequencies and you're, you're saying, you know, and it's, and it's centered around fear, well, now you're setting the tone for what the relationship is going to be based on. And is that really like, do you, do we, does, you know, do you want to move forward and take the next step in that space? You know, and then if, if you do, then you have to adjust your expectations because if you're going to go into it with, from a place of fear, then that's the experience you're going to have. Mm -hmm. And you have to learn how to take personal responsibility around that. And it can't just be wiped away. Yeah. There is another person. And most likely that fear is being experienced from you too. Like, let's say you are, you the per like, let's say it's me, like putting on the, the ultimatum to, to the other, to you or something like, and then you're fearing that, well then to some degree, there's some fear in me too, or else I wouldn't have the need to place that ultimatum on you and pull your choice away, mm -hmm. which is a control dynamic, which stems from fear or lack, right? And so if that is the need, then, then, then we're both experiencing the fear. And instead of placing that on the other person, as you're saying, if you can look at it from a collaboration aspect, if it does come up, I love that saying like, hey, this is coming up. Like I have this desire to want to put forward an ultimatum. Okay, then let's talk about it. Let's seek to understand where is this coming from? What fears are we both experiencing? And then how can we help each other move forward and come out of that fear? And won't that put us in a better place to be in the next stage of our relationship? And inherently, won't that actually take us to the next stage in our relationship through trust, through connection, through uh, you know, problem solving? You know, all these things that are important in styles of communication that create the longevity of a relationship, which if the goal is marriage, which ultimately is the idea is longevity, then, then the process should be about longevity. Yes. And I'm not going to claim that I've been perfect through our entire connected relationship. Went I on. totally have. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, I so had my moments of insecurity, right? They pop up. And Same. it would have been easy to say things like, okay, put a ring on it. <laughs> but that doesn't solve the insecurity. It would still be there. It's not as though saying a vow stops anything else from happening. We're human. We make choices every minute of every day. What I really needed to do was get in touch with the fact that I was feeling insecure and that I myself needed to own my insecurity and then share with you, look, I know that you could go off and be with someone else any time. And that makes me afraid because my love for you is so deep that to imagine a second of my life without you now would crush my soul. But I don't want that to be a dependent or a codependent relationship. And so how do I express that I love you to that depth but if you being with someone else is what would make you happy, would like truly fill your heart with joy, I want you to have the freedom to tell me that. And in my love for you, would it, would it hurt me? Heck yes. But it would also fill my heart with joy to know that your heart is filled with joy. And that's what love can be. I'm not going to be only happy for you that you're happy or only crushed because 
you're not with me anymore. I had to allow both things to exist. But if I had only sat in my insecurity, I would have only sat in one side of that. And we wouldn't have been able to talk that through. And then you wouldn't have been able to come back and say, you know what, I feel the same way. 